Saturday now. We've got our A nets. We finished printing. This is going to be an interesting video because remember I took all of the glass beds off of these six ET4s and decided I was going to print with brown filament and I was printing a couple different parts including the helping hand which looks fine here but Ken doesn't always print or have his printers don't always do a perfect job for example here with this one you can see that it warped and the edges came up and it just shot the print same thing on this one the edges came up it did a terrible job but I think I know why I was using the same heat settings that I was using with the glass beds for one thing and you learn I should have run some tests smaller test jobs and adjusted and found the right uh, temperature for this surface here since I haven't been printing on it I've been printing almost all glass bed and if you get too much heat yeah you can have problems like that so I think I've got way too much heat I'm running at uh, 65 uh, degrees on the bed and 205 on the um, hot end so I think what I'm going to do now is run some test prints I've got everything shut down as I told you before I'm not running these printers on the weekend but I do come down here and it gives me a chance when it's quiet and everything to work on some of these printers and experiment around and that's what I need to do right now with these I need to uh, find out what the formula is for printing with this filament and getting it to adhere well to this bed and at the same time not have too much heat where once the uh, part becomes more dense that heat causes it to warp and the edges to come up and then you end up with a, a bad print so that's where where we're at now so i'm going to get to work on some of these and uh, see what i can figure out okay we're doing a little bit of testing here if you can see on this printer we're running layers this was my first layer and as you can see there's a lot of separation there each line is not adhering that well to the other and it started out a little bit better but got worse what we're doing we're going with different temperatures because as I said before we're now printing without the glass bed so I've got to find the right combination of bed temperature nozzle temperature for this thing to lay down right it's got to do two things this first layer can't be like this it needs to uh, mold together these these lines need to melt together so that's why I've increased the temperature now and we'll let this one run a little bit farther let it get over to about here and then we'll stop the print and peel that off and what we're doing we're just analyzing the first layer because that first layer is very important it's the most important layer in this print and if we get it right and get the temperature right to where everything fuses together and also creates enough adhesion to the uh, bed that it's not going to warp and come loose then 
we've got something we can work with and go to the rest of the printers with. So it's just a lot of sitting around here, spending time, trial and error to get this right. Okay, it's time to uh, see what we've got here with this one running at these new temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the print. And we're going to pull this out, and let's just check our adhesion here. Got pretty good adhesion. Let's peel this off. Okay, now we're going to put this one down. <laughs> And let's uh, see how they compare. Remember how this one was just all flimsy and the uh, lines were not connected. The filament, filament did not fuse to each other. Okay, here on this first layer, you can see we had much better results. The layers are all fused together here. So that's the difference in just changing the temperature a little bit on the hot end and on the bed. So this is what I'm talking about that you're going to have to do with these printers and your filament. And filament can vary too. Just because it's PLA doesn't mean that it prints best at 205 degrees centigrade or 190 degrees or 220. Uh, this was actually printed at 220 degrees on the hot end. 65 degrees on the bed and you can see how well that did this one was printed at 195 degrees on the hot end and 50 degrees on the bed so that's that's a pretty substantial difference in temperature but you can see it's a substantial difference in the quality of that first layer. Now the secret is to stay away from these temperatures. We don't want anything like that. This is a little bit more like the result that we want. So let's start working from here and go up and down a little bit with those temperatures and see if we can fine tune it to get it just right. And Another thing too, you got to remember, once you get this filament with this part and the temperatures and everything just right, it's going to be a whole new ball game if you're printing on glass versus this textured surface here. So you've got to decide what you're going to do. I've decided that I want more of this type of a finish rather than the high gloss finish that I get with glass bed printing. So I'm going to uh, focus more on these to get them tuned in to where they will print on these textured surfaces here instead of the glass bed. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors. <laughs>